Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz. Look at me sitting down right now. Uh oh, this. Here we go. Let's do this right. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Here he is. Hello, hello. Okay, let's welcome our friends from the other side. Come on. Here we go. Hi, guys. Welcome to show number 416. 416. Wow. Okay. This is not what I want. I want this. Come on, my people from the other side. Let's join us for this Friday night. It's Friday night already. The week is going so fast, people. It's just amazing. Okay. I'm amazed and... Ah, uh, come on. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Share and yes. Let's see who is joining us tonight. Well, let's see. Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Come on in. Well, let's see. Becky Ottenberry, how are you? And Michael Ramirez, my beloved friend. How are you? Bobby Miller, how are you doing? I can see and hear you just fine. Thank you. Uh, I make top three. You do. <laughs> Bless it to see you, Sarah. 416 show. That's more than a lot of TV, TV show. Yes, it is more. And we're going on. And we we don't know how long we're going to go, but we're going to keep going. And just hopefully um, we'll grow this community. And people are blessed. And people are laughing. And that's what's important right now. Hello, Naz, from Dateline between winter and spring, Wisconsin. Here from snowy, what? Snowy West Monroe, Louisiana. 70 today, 34, and snowing tonight. See, that's like California. It's confusing, but it doesn't snow. It's confusing. You don't know what to wear. It's not like some places like you put your winter clothes away and you put bring your summer clothes. Nope. We have to keep them all out. I shall be grateful for as many shows as we can get. Thank you. And let's see. That's wonderful weather, huh? 416 rolls of toilet paper that I have to pay for. And I have to ask pastors for. <laughs> okay. What did I, let's see, what did I do today? Me and her, I hope Becky Edinburgh and her sisters are hunkered down and are keeping warm. Sarah, you're too young to say the word hunkered down. I know your birthday is coming Monday, but people, hunkered down, that's an old, old say, like shenanigans. What other old words people use? That's a Mickey Mouse ad outfit. <laughs> They're having hot chocolate in this hot, cold day. And tomorrow morning they'll have like ice lemonade because it's going to be 70. <laughs> okay. Ask pastors for TP. That's a new line for it. <laughs> okay. What did I do today? Today I spent the whole day from 9.30 a.m. until almost 3 p.m. at Starbucks having meetings with a couple of my staff and and just just drinking coffee, having meetings. What is a tarnation, an old term? What in tarnation? <laughs> oh, that's an old term I haven't heard. That's older than me. I refuse to look outside and see what the white, that white stuff. Yeah, I don't know what that white stuff is, but I know. I haven't seen it in 30 years from my window. I've seen it within an hour drive. I watched a lot of old TV shows with my grandparents and read books that had hunkered down in them. In Palestine, they use hunkered down. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. What white stuff? I know. Bobby, we're not from that winter's weather, people. Uh, so anyway... 
there's some people you love working with, but there's other. It's a Looney Tunes cartoon phase. Watch lots of that too with my grandparents. Okay, uh, here's my thought, and um, it will help you today. I hope you. This will help you. It should help you because otherwise it will be meaningless. Uh, some people you love working with. Some people are difficult to work with. Take it. It's a fact. You try to be nice. But how far does nice go before you really tell that person how you really feel? Okay. Now, if you're a person of faith like me, a Christian, you feel the urge to add more minutes to your breaking point. You know what I mean? You try to be nice, 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 nice. Now, a Christian, eh, more nice, mm, more nice. Mm, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Now, I think... You have to work on that to build endurance of being nice so you don't get to the breaking point too fast where you lose it. You know what I mean? Like runners. If you're not used to running, you run for a minute like, <gasps> and you break down. You can't do it. Then you try. You work out for two minutes. Then you practice. And you go for five minutes. See, it's the same thing with being nice to people. The especially difficult people, not, not nice people. Difficult people. The first week, you can be nice for five minutes. You, you keep practicing. You go for seven. You try to find not-so-nice people, and you start dealing with them just so you can build your endurance, okay? And then you start meeting with you know, more annoying people, you know, telemarketers, and then there's some relatives just to practice and to exercise so you can build your endurance to go longer as a nice person before you snap and tell them what you think. So... Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, after 10 minutes, you know, you, you know, like being nice before you snap, you just say, wait a minute, you go run to the bathroom, you do some breathing exercises, and then you give yourself, you know, things of three things that you're thankful for, you know, and three reasons why a life sentence will not help your cause. And once you can go an hour without being upset regardless like you can go hour of being nice without snapping i think when you get there an hour you're gonna hear this sound be code blue code blue and then you're done that's my that's my thought about building endurance to be nice <laughs> i love becky Audenberry. this is funny ah was jesus nice or was he kind hmm Jesus was kind. He was very nice at times, but he didn't let nice hurt his cause or his message. The nicer you are, the longer it lasts. Nip it. <laughs> Nip it in the bud. That's another term. Nope, it builds up if you don't say anything to the other person. Make sure you do so politely. Easier said than done. <laughs> Do you have employees, Sarah? <laughs> you, they, you, you've got one cheek, then you turn the other cheek, but after that, they're on their own. Yeah, you do one cheek, you turn the other cheek, and then boom, you hit them with a left hook. <laughs> Normal down here to say hunker down. Yeah, yeah. yeah in America, <laughs> I think hunker down means something different than it does. Oh, that's funny. Let's see. Okay. Breathe. Be thankful. Code blue. <laughs> that's right. Still working on that. Yeah. Wow. That took a dark turn at the end there. Now. Well, I guess if you can go an hour of being nice to some not so nice people, you're probably dead. <laughs> Jay Leno in Azusa filming. Wow. Doing his garage or Leno's garage? Nope, but I've worked with fellow employees and most appreciated me saying something politely to them before I get really mad and snap. <laughs> okay, last night, top 20 people. Top 20. Can someone call Lily and have her join the show before I ask my questions? Top 20, ladies and gentlemen, top 20. Worst name for a collection agency. 
a worse name for a collection agency. At number 20, you're done. At number 19, arm and a leg, an arm and a leg collection agency. At 18, we're coming to take you away collections. At 17, the worst nightmare, your worst nightmare. At 16, you can't hide collection agency. At number 15, debt and death dealers. At number 14, what's yours is mine. At number 13, we know where you live. <laughs> At number 12, the mafia. At number 11, sure we trust you. And here's the top 10, worst name for, names for a collection agency. At number 10, horse head collections. At number 9, lights on, lights off. At number 8, shark attack collection company. At number 7, kneecap collections. <laughs> At number six, Prosperity Gospel Collection Agency. At number five, Seek and You Shall Find, F-I-N-E. At number four, Your House is Our House. <laughs> At number three, Jesus Paid It All Except This Collection Agency. At number two, Tanya Harding's Gold Medal Collections. And the number one worst name for a collection company, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Becky Vault, for that one. That's funny. Okay, let's see. Uh, is the elef if the elephant is in the room, address it. <laughs> okay, Poncho, Frank, I hope your arm is feeling better. I have to talk with Mrs. Riscola once again. I don't make top 21. I know she hasn't been joining us a lot. Hello. Good to see you all. Stay safe. Sarah, happy birthday. Be safe. Enjoy. Jump forward one hour. Got long trip tomorrow. Going to bed. Prank. <laughs> Love you, Pancho. That's very nice of you. Thank you so much. Get some sleep. See you next weekend. All right. All right. I left a message for Lilies. I'll let you know what she says. Okay, let's start tonight then with another question. The Okay, here's your first question, people. This came from Rosetti. What would you buy if you had all the money in the world? What would you buy if you had all the money in the world? What would you buy if you had all the money in the world? Let's see what you would answer, people. It tells a little more about who you are. Okay, it's time to hydrate and share. It's 846. You hydrate and you share. Okay, what would you buy if you had all the money in the world? Let's see it. I miss Maha. I know. I was just talking about it today with her. I'm head over heels. Big Mac. <laughs> Peace. Hey, Mark Mund, how are you? Peace and quiet. <laughs> Woozas. Woozas. I didn't think I've ever had number one before. Oh, yes. Thank you. I recently won toilet paper. I just live in the life right now. <laughs> right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lily's here. Hello, Lily. Try not to lose it. <laughs> Try not. Congrats, Becky. <laughs> Hi, family. I fell asleep last night. Long day. I'm up now. All right. Stick with us. Second question will help. By the Hawaiian Islands, what would you do if you had all the money in the world? Definitely anything the poor would need. Aw. Debbie Malone. Well, good to see you, Lily. Welcome back. What would you do? What would you buy if you had all the money in the world? Let's see. Thank you, other wonderful Becky. <laughs> we have two wonderful Beckys with us. I buy gasoline and give it to my... <laughs> you are funny. Ah... Uh, you look happy as a clam. <laughs> a large wine fridge. A fridge for wine? 
You put it in the fridge? Uh, Suzanne Werder, how are you? I would want to help people who needed it. What would you buy if you have all if you had all the money in the world? Buy Disneyland and invite all of you to come anytime for free. Thank you, Bobby. I can't be trusted with money. <laughs> Hmm. All right. What would you buy if you had all the money? A large rescue facility for all animals needing love. Oh, the horse that I was promised but didn't get. Listen to this, Becky Voth and Pat. Pardon my French. Oh, I buy Tally some horses. Thank you. I actually try not to lose it first. <laughs> Food for all that were hungry. I would pay off everyone's student loans, credit cards, and medical debt. Hey, isn't the government want to do that? No, I'm just kidding. That's very sweet. Anybody else? What would you buy if you had the money, all the money in the world? Joe, a one-way ticket to China. <laughs> Which Joe? Oh, Joe, Joe, that Joe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get it. Bring home the bacon. I'll start with a house of my own. All right, Sarah, if your family are listening right now and watching, they're like, okay, first, we never gave her a horse. Now she wants to leave. Give like Job. I buy copyrights to Fern too. Around the wells, an island, and start micronation. Homes for the homeless. I'd help my friends and family, then whatever the Lord leads me to do. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Let's turn it to funny. What would you do? <laughs> See Mr. John Riscala. I had a filming project today. So what he did is he took some of the lights from the studio. So I had to improvise and now it's better. Joe Biden just went to the hospital because he couldn't stop Putin. 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 Oh, I get it. <laughs> That's funny. Be, be right back. Gotta go check the cake in the oven. All right, here we go. We have to go to food. I would buy the IRS. No more taxes. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> I would build refugee homes and shelters for people who are trying to get back on their feet or people that need places to live in all the states and all over the U.S. Do you know what? You have the same mind, Bobby. I would make apartment complexes for Refugees. I'd buy Michael an In and Out Burger <laughs> franchise. Oh, I'm like you can buy him a <laughs> the White House. I'd probably be up for auction soon at this rate. <laughs> You're funny. I'd buy Michael toilet paper. <laughs> oh, I'd buy the rooster and ruby red hen corn for life. Okay. All right, guys, let me let me change the question on you since we have our beloved uh, Lily with us. I don't know. I don't think we promised Sarah a horse. One of my things I said a lot was it if things I said was if if it works out, knowing that the Lord would work it out, it was supposed to be. <laughs> oh, blame it on the Lord now, Becky. Throw it on God and let him take the blame. A week vacation for all our life with Nashville. That's on my mind. I would buy Justin Bieber a ticket back to Canada. <laughs> hey, Brent, welcome. I would buy an In-N-Out franchise to bring to Washington. Yes. Open the biggest video arcade, pinball arcade in the world. Oh, I would love that. I would buy a death certificate. <laughs> Mom, that was dead who promised me. Don't bring God into this. <laughs> Here we go. 
Nez, do you have a copyright to your jokes and would you ever sell them? You can't have copyrights on jokes. I would have long time ago. Would I sell my jokes? I never sold my jokes. I love them so much I do myself. Kick up your heels. Tickets to see Nez in person. Would buy Elon Musk SpaceX. <laughs> okay, Becky, that sounds good to me. Okay, guys, I would pay Michael Bolton to come sing for me every night. <laughs> he cut his hair. How am I supposed to live without you? That's what he would sing, Lily. <laughs> and you go, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, Mr. Michael. Okay, here we go. Here's your next question. Today is Appreciation Day for National Funeral Director and Mortician Recognition Day. National Funeral Director and Mortician Recognition Day. So we appreciate you, Lily, for being a funeral home director. We love you. And I know last year I was going to ask this question, but I was advised by my own family and friends and myself not to do it because it was too soon and people were dying from COVID, so we didn't do it. But right now, I would like to ask you, give me the worst name for a funeral home. Worst name. <laughs> and don't take it hard and don't act like, oh, I'm sorry, this reminds me of... Don't remember anybody right now. Just give me worst name. We're trying to be funny here. That's all we're trying to do. So I'm being sensitive here. Uh, worst name for a funeral home. I'll give you the first one. Smart and final. I think that would be the greatest name, not the worst name for a funeral. Smart and final. Uh, let's see. Dead bones. <laughs> Dead bones. <laughs> Last chance funeral home. <laughs> That's good. You know, zombie island. <laughs> Come push daisies with us. <laughs> Dirt bags on <laughs> us. If at first you don't succeed. Grounded enterprise. <laughs> Lily, write those down just in case Westminster want to stay <laughs> stiffer. <laughs> no give backs. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no give backs. All right, guys, we have 113 people watching right now. That's the most we've had since we started the show. Uh, 109, went back to 109, but this is awesome that we're getting that many people. Well, I remember, no, in the beginning, when we first, we used to have 1,000 and about, you know, but not, not watching at that moment, but that's good. Always six feet apart and under. Tombstones, where are you? Where are you? Leave it all behind. Joe's discount funerals. Last rites. Give it up, buttercup. Grim Reaper Funeral Home. Grim Reaper Funeral Home. Cold Corpse. <laughs> Lily had one. Cold Corpse. Boot Hell Funerals. People walk in, but they never walk out. The curators of rigor mortis. No refunds or exchanges. Don't get around much anymore. See you in hell. <laughs> That's the worst name, right? You're as cold as ice. <laughs> I love you, Lily. That's funny. It's funny. Cold-blooded. Highway to hell. <laughs> Put the fun in funeral. The mafia, your final rest with us. One foot in funeral. How about kick the bucket? Funeral home. Sam's funeral home and worm farm. Oh. oh. Ghostbusters. Holy smokes. Cremate. That is so funny, Susan. Holy smokes, crematorium. 
<laughs> Baby is cold inside. Hey, Teresa. Ah, oh, you stab him with the... <laughs> They won't know. Buy one, get one half off caskets with us. Cold-blooded. Return to sender funeral home. Going home to Jesus. That's funny. Check pockets. <laughs> Disneyland where they can leave your dearly departed ashes. <laughs> Everyone stays six feet apart underground. <laughs> per cat Tony. Tori. Per cat Tori. <laughs> God's waiting room. Stairway to heaven, maybe. Come to Jesus funeral home. Unwanted. Oh, Daisy pushers. Buy one funeral, second one free. Holy spirits. <laughs> Come join the 999 spirits. Another one bites the dust. That's good. Dead end. <laughs> you deserve a laugh. Oh. Dead end funeral home. Better than your bed. <laughs> That's funny, guys. Dead or alive, we don't care. Amig Amigon. Amigon. Funeral home. Just as I am. Can you move over? I can't see the view. High occupancy caskets. Bread of Heaven Bakery Funeral. <laughs> I think this is, this is gonna be a fun night tonight. Oh, funeral and fertilizer services. Stiff stuff funeral home. Sticks and headstones. <laughs> Instead of sticks and stones, sticks and headstones. Last minute deals, <laughs> FedExes, <laughs> debt free now, <laughs> one plot or two. That laugh sounds like a one from the song Wipe Out. Oh yeah, lazy stiffs, <laughs> last chance to get left or go right. You're unearned it, you earned it. Come to Jesus, pearly gated community. <laughs> Oh, man. Knock loud. We can't hear you. Funeral home. Last stop, funeral home. All right. It's time to hydrate. If you can drink that formaldehyde water. All righty. You can share this, people, if you want. Divorce has gone wrong. Funeral service and taxidermy. Ouch. N Stick a fork in you. You're well done. <laughs> a tisket, a casket. <laughs> 99 cent store. <laughs> Cream and sugar. Quiet zone. <laughs> Dear ringer. Left behind. So. <laughs> Worst name for a funeral home. Hello, everyone. Long time. Hello, Elena Hummingway. Thank you for joining us again. Hope you're doing good. Give us the worst name for a funeral home. Human shippers. Going quieter than you came. Shh, don't wake the sleepers. Dead man walking crematorium. Grounded. That's right. Ashes and dust. Regular or extra crispy. <laughs> the underwhelmed. <laughs> Who did you double cross? Please don't walk all over me. Dust in the wind. It's all just dust in the wind. Dead weight. <laughs> here today, gone tomorrow. How about here yesterday, gone today? 
Grounded for Life, Stoned, <laughs> Dead Tired Funeral Home, and Tired Store, Bag of Bones, The Last Hotel, Free Cosmetic Classes Funeral Home. We vacuum up your family that tries to escape. Cremation Creations. <laughs> That sounds like something you send someone for, for Christmas. More cowbell. <laughs> More cowbells. Lazarus. <laughs> That's a good name, Lazarus. You don't ask, we don't tell funeral home. Wendy is here. Sunshine Corner Funeral Home, where all your dreams come true. You had me at goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so funny, Michael. You had me at goodbye. <laughs> That's great. You don't need Mrs. Riscala for that one. Lost and Found, Forever House, Sweet Dreams. Eternal Vacation Package. <laughs> Down Under. That's funny. The last copy Michael will do. <laughs> As the body turns. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the gear is on fire. Crematory. <laughs> River Sticks Cruises. Upright burials be the last man standing. <laughs> hey, Nancy. What time is uh, the garage sale tomorrow? When does it start? John Doe. Coffin burns and s'mores. <laughs> Creepy Horace's funeral parlor. Happy Trails. <laughs> Happy Trails funeral home. When the roll is called up yonder. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, right? Here lies Gertrude <laughs> Snell. Who is Gertrude Snell? Sounds like a famous person. In the heat of the crematorium. <laughs> Baba's burials. Starts at 8 a.m. All right. Jokes over, let me out now. Jokes over, let me out. Hot One's Crematorium. F farewell. We, we don't know for certain, but you might be in a worse place now. In better hands. <laughs> Out of luck. Burn, baby, burn. Crematorium. <laughs> Follow up signs on Cor Corridon. Willies. <laughs> Stuffed Shells Funeral Home. <laughs> Knock loud, we are upstairs. <laughs> ah. That's good. That is really good stuff, people. Garage sales are us. <laughs> you kill him, we grill him. <laughs> I told you I was sick. You'll never know the if the if makeup looks terrible. Budget funeral home, we buy you for less. We bury you for less. Knock three times funerals. Lizzie Borden's funeral home. Stop moving around. Knocking on heaven's door. Good one. Should have worn a mask. <laughs> That's funny, guys. You guys are on tonight. Oh, Lord, that's funny. <laughs> You'll never... Okay. Don't fear the reaper. <sighs> Last rites. The gas station. <laughs> That's right. Stairway to heaven. Huh. 
highway to hell. We've seen one corpse, you've seen them all. Already. Abracadabra. Oh no, you don't like this one. Stop it. She doesn't like. Stop. Sorry. I know you don't like that. Scary. Drop dead slaughters funeral home. Abracadabra. That is gold. <laughs> Your forever home. Masket or casket. <laughs> the best you've ever looked. Undercover funeral. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's. Yep. <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing. I just hope you are laughing. If you are laughing, <laughs> I was trying to stop the other ones. Ah, if you are laughing, please let me know. Just put an emoji so I know I'm not the only one. Good eating, <laughs> Bobby. Here we go. Long lasting coma. All right. Some of you are laughing with me. Bring your fly swatter. <laughs> May we interest you in our latest earns. Sail away. I'm a ghost. You can sing Emily Dickinson's poem. Because I would not stop for death to the tune of Gilligan's Island, Amazing Grace, or the Yellow Rose of Texas. Knock him out, John's funeral home. Resurrection funeral home. That's funny. That's good. Inappropriate knock-knock jokes. So much for those essential oils. Save 15% without Geico. In and out. The last thing you'll never see. That's awesome. So glad you guys are laughing. So glad this is fun. And uh, let me see. Might still be squirrel. <laughs> oh, he loved bacon. <laughs> you can't earn heaven. Which crypt would you like? Bone boxes? I want giant googly eyes put over mine at my viewing when I'm dead. <laughs> he always wanted to wear makeup. <laughs> You'll, you've never looked better. Funeral home. Holler back. The happiest place. How about the end? <laughs> Period. Lock in your six foot distance permanently. <laughs> right. I love it. Teresa's awake with us tonight. Okay. Crypt cruises, barriers at sea. Clown you. Okay, it is time for the gear is on fire. It is time for the Guinness Holy, 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 H-O-L-E-Y. Final countdown. That's good. Keep him coming, but let's do the Guinness Book of World Record right now. Today is national, of course, other than National Funeral Home Appreciation, uh, National Oatmeal Not Waffles Day. Worm food. <laughs> oh, the last sleep. Okay, National Oatmeal Not Waffle Day. The tallest stack of waffles was achieved by Francis de Buck and Michael de Buck from Belgium in, on June 2020, recently. Francis and Michael got the idea of breaking this record after cooking a bunch of waffles to try out a new iron waffle machine. How high, how tall was that stack in inches? More than one inch, less than a hundred inches. How many inches 
was the tallest stack of waffles to make it to the Guinness Book of World Record. Died laughing, your last makeover funeral home, on vacation forever, another one bites the dust, Medusa's, one mile. Master Garcia laid to the rest. Master Gracie laid to the rest. Tonight I copy Lily. <laughs> that was your first. 72, 33, and 42 for Sarah. All right. Come on, Michael. Give us your best numbers right now. 68 for Teresa. All right. 55, 63, 81 for Matthew. 59, 68, 71 for Lily. 57 for Teresa. 77, 97, 63 for Nancy. Becky Vos, 72, 57, 98. The Rooster and Ruby, of course, they would love some of that. Waffles. 64, 74, 84 for Becky. Debbie, 97, 65, 87. Neil said 35, 55, 62, 59, 68, 71 for Michael Ramirez. A peaceful rest here lies brother Claude. 45, 34, and 56 for Catherine. 36 for Mark Mund. Don't bet on it, funeral home. 39, 57, 81 for Dolores. Walk like an Egyptian. Never mind, you can't. <laughs> 46, 85, and 38 for Suzanne. We told you not to hold your breath so long. 38 for Teresa. Elena, 36, 56, 76. Anybody else? 79, 89, 99. Of course, you know you can't look it up. Just make a wild guess. 79. He actually wrote her copied numbers. Oh, he did. <laughs> Michael. Sold. <laughs> oh, Lily. Last purchase. That's true. Okay. Cement Cemetery. Anybody else? It's 915, please. All 80 people hydrate and share. Bits and pieces, <laughs> burials, Middle Eastern style. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I get it. Because we blow ourselves up, is that why? No. <laughs> Sold. Okay. I'm ready to give the answer, people. The tallest stack of waffles was achieved by Francis and Pluff. It was 36 inches. 36.2 inches. We have two winners. We have Mark Mund and Elena Hemingway is coming back with us. So we got two winners. You guys can split this. It's two play. You can enjoy it. Congratulations. First time for Mark to win. And Elena, I know you've already collected some toilet paper from me. But hey, here's another one. Congratulations. And sold. Yes. That's not very tall. I know, 36 inches. Wait, one inch, two inches. That's three feet. Isn't it? Yeah, that's three feet. No, that's more than three feet. Here's three feet. Here's one foot. That's a lot of waffles to stack. Okay, perfect. So... Here's your third question for the night, people. Okay, if you have to try something new, what would it be? If you have to try something new, what would it be? Think about it. Oh, nice toilet. Thank you, Mark. For once, Michael didn't didn't Google. 
<laughs> he doesn't Google, he follow he picks an answer. Jazz bring the TP one month ago to the sale, please. Naz, bring the TP I won months ago to the sale, please. <laughs> okay. Naz is TP if I ever Naz is if I ever win again. Climb up the backside of Half Dome in Yosemite National Park. Okay, so here's something, you know, what would it be? If you have to try something new, let's see. Three feet the size of Gary Coleman. <laughs> Nazis TP, if I ever win again, you'll try him. Breaking a wild bull. Oh, Climb up the backside of Half Dome in Yosemite National Park. Wow. Learn to fly. Me too. In memory of our patriarch, dear departed grandpa. Oh. A romantic partner. Okay. Wheat grass juice. Michelle Van Dusen, how are you? Wheat grass. You're going to try that. No room in the crib. Bethlehem burials. <laughs> Go vegan, huh, okay. Parachuting. Elena just did that, ask her how. A husband. Did it work out if you know who, who, Lily? Did it ever work out? Bob sledding. <laughs> Date a rich man. <laughs> That's funny. Using an alarm clock. <laughs> You're funny. We missed you, Michelle. Getting to work on time. <laughs> okay. Keep them coming, people. If you have to try something new, what would it be? Eating a salad. <laughs> Come on, Michelle's the only one who wants to try stuff. Drink water without dribbling. Traveling in an RV, huh? Become a contestant on Survivor. <laughs> Sailing, okay. I did it once and I, I didn't take my Dramamine, so that ruined the trip for me. Drive a motorcycle with no hands. <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> Sarah's going to try vegetables. Michelle. Michelle Volusen, welcome back. Where you been? Seeing Naz in person. Color my hair purple. Eat without staining my clothes. I'm sorry, I'm Michelle. I mean Michelle Van Dusen. Oh, okay. I thought. <laughs> Spending the night in a lighthouse on the cliffs of a seashore. Ooh, that's scary. That's where horror movies happen. Driving on the left side of the road. Buying a new car. Looking amazing. Oh, Carol just came home. I haven't seen her in weeks. Two weeks now? She just made it home from UCLA. You know why? Because she misses us. No, because she has laundry. That's why. I didn't think motorcycle has hands. Oh, snorkeling. Okay, Shower. <laughs> showering. Three months cruise to Italy. Ooh. Do a comedy set. Hey, I'll help you, Matthew, when I get to... You know, Green Bay. Rock climbing. Shopping with Rhonda Corey. <laughs> Busy night just now eating dinner. Oh, how is everyone? What's the question? If you have to try something new, Joey, what would it be? Spend the night in a tree house. Okay. Flying in a helicopter. That's interesting. Ask her to come up and say hi. Let's see. Get paid to do comedy. Cruise to nowhere. Laundry time. I know. Having the time of my life. Wiping. <laughs> S 
Stop it, Neil. <laughs> You're horrible, man. I hope you win some toilet paper. Joey, may I have a recipe for green eggs and ham? <laughs> Shooting my own comedy special. All right. Not crying myself to sleep every night. Aww. Are you serious? You cry yourself to sleep every night? Oh, no. Road trip and stop wherever you want. Lily, you're kind of... We have the same mind. Joey, get Ness to hire me as his personal chef. I will when I get... When I can afford it, I will. Swimming with the mantis. Paddle boat. Okay. It is 9.23, people, for not winning TP. <laughs> No. Okay, right now, ladies and gentlemen, dusting my house. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what it's time. It's time for church bills and prayer. Hey, Carol. Carol. Not every night, just most of them. Oh, that's sad. We'll be praying for you. Visit every NASCAR track in the U.S. <laughs> oh, love the bells. Thank you. I want to go back and watch the top 20 when it ends. Yes. Swimming with dolphins. Carol is at the door. <laughs> Flying. Okay, that's less of a doorbell. Same prayer request as yesterday with the addition, addition of my parents' health. Yeah, I love your mom and dad. They were one of our first viewers for this show. We'll be praying for them. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, also, pray for Sarah. You know, nobody should go to bed almost every night crying. That's not right. Drive on it. Have you seen that they let people do that? Even RVs, NASCAR track. Oh, I would like to drive on that. Unspoken, okay? Anybody else keep praying this? Oh, this. First of all, we're going to pray that Sarah has a happy, happy birthday. And then also we're going to pray for Stella. She's going to come and see us, the three-year-old, this Sunday with her dad. Uh, pray. Pray for wisdom for Voice of Refugees, please. All right. Who needs prayer? Pray for Bobby's hands to heal completely. I blame the crying on allergies. Oh. Poor thing. Try Flonase. Try taking some medication. You know, I did the shots for three years on those. What do you call it? The... The allergy shots. What a blessing and honor to keep this entire family in prayer. Happy birthday, Sarah. Yes, happy birthday, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. Let's see. Happy birthday! All right, praying for all the kiddos mentioned on this show, right? And spoken prayer for Bobby. Hi from Colesville. Hello, Amy. How are you? Hope you are enjoying your work. Praying for Naz and Fam and his organization. Thank you. Prayers. Our car needs to be fixed. Or we need a new one. We'll be praying for that, Michelle. Not a good time to buy cars. Unless it's electric. But it's still... They're very expensive right now. Anybody else needs prayers? Let's see. This is interesting. Um, as I'm reading uh, John 13 today, uh, the Lord Jesus said to his disciples while they're having the Last Supper, and he said, <coughs> uh, if then, he said, why do you call me Lord? And it's not, I tell you for the and just you call me lord where is it oh come on 
You call me teacher and Lord, and you say, well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. Did you guys know uh, before the resurrection of Jesus, Every time the disciples or people mention Jesus, they call him the Lord or Master. They never called him Jesus. The only ones that called him Jesus were demons and evil people. It's the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, Master, Rabbi, Rabboni, Master, Lord. Sometimes we get, I mean... If you're in an intimate prayer with the Lord and you call him Jesus, that's perfect. But I think a lot of Christians got used to say, Jesus, 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 Jesus did that, Jesus did that. And, and you know, if me and Maha, especially Maha, Maha will never call him Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord, Lord, Lord. What, an, what a reminder to us that he's our Lord. You know, we don't know what Lord means sometimes because we live in a free country and every individual have the same rights as somebody else. But if you lived in the days and this old days, when someone is a Lord, you just don't say no to them. You don't say no. You do whatever they ask you to do because they're the Lord, your Lord, with a little L, small L. But he's our Lord. And then when you reference him, you just say the Lord. And then that will remind you, wow, I better obey him. Obey him. If he's my Lord, I better listen to him. Is that in John 13? Yes, it is. See you all on Monday night. Yes. Happy birthday, Lily. Love you guys. And Lily Navis, happy Funeral Home Director Day. National Funeral Home Director Recognition Day. All right, Feliz Compañeros, both. All right, love you guys. Thank you. Have a great and blessed weekend. We'll see you Monday, God willing.